That's what this is about. That's how simple this is. What direction are we going to go in? Donald Trump, he wants to take us backwards to a time where people didn't have that vote. We're not going back. We're not going back. And look, look, when he tries to play dumb about this 2025 plan, I coach football for enough years. When somebody takes the time to draw up a playbook, they plan on using it. He knows, he knows what this will do. Restrict our freedoms, rig the economy for the ultra-rich by punishing the middle class. If he returns to the White House, he's going to pick up just where he left off. But the people around him who worked with him the first time are already telling us it will be much, much worse. Raising costs on you while making it easier for billionaires. Repealing the Affordable Care Act so we can go back to pre-existing conditions and making it impossible to get health care. And they're very clear about this. They're very clear. Gut Social Security and Medicare for those tax cuts for the wealthy and ban abortion across this country. We know in this room abortion is health care, and again, that's your decision to make. That's your decision to make. And, they're, and look, they're super concerned with our bedrooms. They're super concerned with our uh, exam rooms. They're super concerned about our libraries. And I have to tell you, yeah, when they make decisions about your health care, yes, it's weird, but it's worse than that. It's dangerous. When they, when they try and cut Social Security for our seniors like my mom who've earned it, that's not just weird, it's cruel. And when they try, which they did and will again, when they try to overturn fair elections, that's not just weird, that's un-American. That is un-American. And this idea about knowing us, let me ask you something new. Do you think J.D. Vance knows one damn thing about Nebraska? He's going to be here next week. You think he's ever had a runza? You think he's ever had a runza? That guy would call it a hot pocket. You know it. Every one of you in here know it. A damn hot pocket. Now look, I, he wrote a memoir at the ripe old age of 31. And he claimed to be an expert on middle America, all the while while trashing and denigrating the very community he was raised in. Look, folks, in the heartland and in Nebraska and in Minnesota, we don't need a Yale-educated philosophy major backed by billionaire venture capitalists to tell us who we are. We know who we are. We know who our neighbors are. I don't know about all of you. It's time to put these guys in the rearview mirror. Let's end this. It's time to put them in there. Say it with me. You know it's true. We are not going back to that. We are not going back to that. We've got We're not going back.